Are you ready to learn? Prepositions have been giving you trouble, but not today. Let's go. Common prepositions coming right up. Am I sitting on the ball? On. I'm spinning in the chair. I'm standing next to the window. Today is all about prepositions part one. We are not going to get into complicated ones. So if this is new for you, this is the video for you. Keep watching simple prepositions we just mentioned at the beginning of the video. Now I wanna to talk to you about prepositions with gerunds. What is a gerund? It just means that it has the ing on the end. Hey, hey. So, after eating breakfast, we're gonna go to the mall. You can say that to your kids. And they will love you. I want you to repeat after me. Hey, prepositions, I see you. You've been hard, but I have a new friend in town. Your time is over for messing me up. I'm on to you now. Remember that prepositions can come at the end of the sentence. To whom shall I give credit? Or, who shall I give credit to? You see the difference? It can come at the end, so don't think that you're wrong. Some prepositions are made of two words that is two. That's right. One, two, two. I'm gonna give you an example. Take my mouth and this book. This book is next to the mouth. So in a real sentence, you can say, we live next to the White House. Hey, it's possible. Some more prepositions that I have on my notebook. Because of your courage, I'm going to learn to be braver today. Yes, we live far from the university. About 15 minutes, not bad at all. Instead of my dad, ate dinner early instead of eating at the event later tonight. It was hungry, honey. Remember the basic prepositions. Just make a list of about five prepositions that you can use on a daily basis. Walk around the house and say those prepositions out loud. Then remember that the prepositions can go at the end of the sentence on some, in some cases. So don't be afraid to end the sentence with a preposition. And lastly, there is a such thing called two word prepositions and even more than that. So just practice these and include them in your English vocabulary because prepositions are everywhere. Well, I'll just go ahead and tell you that English grammar is not my jam. It is not something that I love, okay? We have had a bad relationship all my life. <laughs> The writing exams is having a lot of trouble speaking because writing and speaking, they go together. So if you have trouble writing, more than likely you're going to make mistakes while you're speaking, okay? That is me. So I have always failed the writing exams and poor me. But truly guys, I have trouble with English grammar and so I didn't read a lot and that is my biggest um, regret okay about growing up i wish i would have read a lot more so my advice to you is to read to your kids read to yourself out loud so that way you can hear the sentence structure and be able to speak without the lack of confidence okay and memorize them some kind of way whichever way you like to learn by hearing reading listening any kind of way you can get it in believe me this doesn't need to be a problem. Don't worry, honey, you'll get it. And the rumor is it's been giving you problems. So go ahead and practice. Leave me a comment with some prepositions in there that you're confused about using and I'll cover them in part two. See you later.